Normally for these designer notebook features, what we have is a project and then the designer of that project talk about where the project came from and the decisions that were made in going into it. You're stuck with me here because even lowly editors can design projects sometimes. And I wanna share one that goes along with a router table. Now, a few years ago in Shop Notes Magazine, we built and designed this compact router table to fit those fun little small size routers. It was meant so that you could tuck it away when you were done using it and it wouldn't take up a lot of floor space. And as you can see, when it's all folded up, it's a nice little cube. This project was so cool, we actually featured it on the TV show. So when you go to use it, you could flip up these support wings on the side, fold out the supports, and you have a nicely sized table. Another cool feature is that the fence for the router table tucks inside. The faces of the fence fold down and fit on T-track and allow you to attach it to the table using these T-tracks installed in the top. This router table is so cool, I actually built one for my own home shop. However, I did make some modifications because it's just how I am. And the thing that I changed was this fence. Now, the gimmick behind the fence was that it could fold up and store inside the router table when you're not using it. It's a great idea. And it does have these sliding faces so you can customize the size of the opening to suit the bit. But I'm not a huge fan of separate sliding faces. I feel like they just get misaligned too easily. And this fence doesn't really incorporate a way to collect dust as you're routing. And then the other thing is, is that when I'm working on a router table this size, I usually wanna make fine movements of the fence or the bit height to be able to dial in the cuts that I wanna make on small pieces. And this fence works okay, but I thought it could do better. What I came up with is a little bit more of a Cadillac version of the fence. It still rides in the T-track installed in the tabletop and you can lock it in place with a pair of knobs. However, the face of the fence is one continuous surface. This one is coated with plastic laminate because it helps the workpiece slide across and isn't gonna get scratched up as easily. There's a dust port on the back that you can see, so you can just connect your shop vacuum to it and collect a lot of the dust depending on the type of work that you're doing. But where this one stands apart from the original model is that this whole front assembly here pivots on a bolt back here. I can loosen this mounting knob and then turn a knob on the back and I can adjust the fence face forward or back in very fine increments to be able to dial in a specific type of cut. So now I can use the, the main knobs to handle the large macro adjustments and then take care of the micro adjustments with the knob on the back. Once I have it all set up, I can just lock it in place and we're ready to make really fine, accurate cuts. Now, we're showing this on the original router table that it was built for. However, what I wanna get across is that you can take the same concept, scale it up or down and have it fit just about any kind of router table. We'll show some of those options in the plans and we'll include the plans for the new fence with the router table as well. So if you wanna upgrade the capabilities of a small router table or your router table that you already have, you might wanna take a look at this fence.